Russians dig new trenches in Crimea, deploy additional military equipment on the peninsula. The Russian military has set up a double line of trenches north of occupied Crimea. New satellite images show the appearance of new fortifications on both sides of the E-105 highway and near Lake Sivash, the Armyansk checkpoint and Perekopsk Val. It is reported that in November of last year, the trench line was already visible. It was branched out by March. The lines are connected with more trenches and there is military equipment positioned between them. Vadim Skibitsky, deputy head of the main directorate of intelligence of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine, stressed that Russia is strengthening the north of Crimea the most. The infrastructure is maintained in combat readiness, a powerful land and aerial component located on the territory of Crimea. Combat aircraft, there are about 90 of them. That is 60 or about 60 combat helicopters situated in Crimea. A group was created, a defense group, which currently carries out fortification measures, equipping the defense line, he added. The Washington Post newspaper also published a study on Russia's active efforts to build defense structure in Crimea. Based on satellite photos provided by Makar, the publication shows that in just a few weeks, the Russian leadership managed to build a network of trenches and barriers in Crimea. The article calls Crimea one of the most fortified areas in the war zone. According to the publication, such defense structures began to appear especially rapidly in recent weeks when Russia was expecting a spring counterattack from Ukraine. Many of the defense structures are located near natural water barriers such as the sea coast or canals, which will create additional obstacles in the event of an attack by the armed forces of Ukraine.